In Northern California, uh, John yeah. Easterbrook shows me a yeah. photo collection of his grandfather, so. four-star U.S. He's Army a, General Joseph Stilwell. He would go down just about every day, go down to the front lines to encourage the Chinese troops. In this photo, Stilwell is followed by John's own father, who also served during World War II. In fact, John himself served for 22 years in the Army, which gives him an even greater appreciation for his grandfather's contributions in commanding U.S. and Chinese forces in the China-Burma-India theater. John says his grandfather helped start programs, especially in Burma, known today as Myanmar, that provided rehabilitation, compensation, and recognition for Chinese soldiers. You also got to know the Chinese soldiers uh, from the time of their conscription and the villages uh, to their bravery on the battlefield. So I think you see that, that feeling of friendship and knowledge of the reality of the soldiers stayed with him for quite some time. John even has a copy of the drawing that coined his grandfather's nickname, Vinegar Joe, a reference to his no-nonsense blunt nature. But John's parents told him of another side to Vinegar Joe. They conveyed to me that he was first of all a family man, but he had a lot of characteristics, such as being a very modest guy. He didn't wear ribbons or decorations on his uniform. He said he didn't need that. John was only five when his grandfather passed away. And this one, Stillwell pointing out a bug to his grandson. <laughs> I can't remember if I ate the bug or not. <laughs> he still has some of his grandfather's special items. Now this, these pieces uh, were quite common to find in the markets and what have you in the 30s. It's very hard wood, and uh, this is a very nice piece. Of course, all these pieces come apart, and you've got these individual panels. Stillwell's appreciation for Chinese culture is evident not only in his collections, but also by the fact that he spoke and wrote fluent Chinese. John himself has made 17 trips to China, and in early August, both of his daughter's families traveled to Chongqing, China to attend commemorative events for the Stillwell Museum's 140th birth anniversary of Joseph Stillwell. He loved the Chinese people. He, great respect and admiration for the Chinese people. And that respect and admiration has been passed down now through a number of generations. The key thing that we need to do is leverage Stillwell's respect, admiration, and friendship for the Chinese people to these to people to people activities now to show that basically we're kind of all the same deep down. In their backyard, John and his wife Han show me a special flowering plant, Fuchsia Vinegar Joe, a variety that was actually named after Stillwell. And in front, they have another variety of fuchsia that was taken directly from Stillwell's yard. Subsequent generation from my grandparents' home. Colorful reminders of a unique bond that continues to be passed on from generation to generation. Mark New, CGTN, Saratoga, California.